In the last 11 months, telecommunication operators have lost eight base stations, six occasioned by terrorist attacks in Mandera, while two have been vandalized during the electioneering period in Kisumu and Kakamega counties. Actions the Communications Authority of Kenya has termed unacceptable as it hinders universal access. Over 70 billion Kenya shillings is required to close the existing ICT caps in Kenya. The recently experienced vandalism of the ICT infrastructure is therefore retrogressing all efforts to ensure all Kenyans access communication services. Two of the best stations were vandalized following the National Super Alliance's call on its supporters to boycott, among others, Safaricom products. For me, I don't even see that as a boycott. I mean, even right now, if, if I am disappointed with one service provider, I can move to another service provider. And we didn't think that that will cause any impact to any of the, uh, the, the operators. The only thing that is worrying is when the infrastructure that is supposed to provide those services are getting destroyed. Wangusi clarifying that the destruction of Safaricom masts would affect other players as well. These base stations, as you see them, might be hosting more than one player. Some of them now are hosting all the three players or four beyond, even the MVNOs. According to the Penal Code Section 85, any person who being riotously assembled together unlawfully pulls down or destroy or begin to pull down or destroy any building, railway, machinery or structures are guilty of a felony and each of them is liable to imprisonment for life. Arrests are however yet to be made with the authority indicating that they will monitor the spectrum to alert the police upon occurrences of such incidents. With telcos counting losses of close to 300 million shillings this year following the vandalism of its communication infrastructure, the Communications Authority of Kenya is calling on citizens to embrace and protect this infrastructure that is highly dependent on. Mombi Waroe, Citizen TV.